hi, this is Patty Butcher at Katie Dids Quilting Studio. Um, I need to adjust my Y motor on my Lucy. The motor is sitting a little too low. I can't even get my credit card um, between the drive wheel and the rail when it's in manual mode. So you can see here I've got my credit card. And as I try and put it under there, it won't even go under that drive wheel. So that's a little too low. I do normally like a tight gap, but I really have to force that in. So I need to raise the motor up a little bit. Um, I figured since I got to do it, it's a good time to talk to you about how to adjust your motors. If you all have downloaded this page here that you can get on the IQ website, um, this is very helpful in order to explain what the different bolts do. So it says that independently, wherever these silver bolts are, and you can see here the silver bolts, so wherever they are on the bracket, if you tighten those, that will raise the motor. So if you're, and then if you're loosening those silver bolts, that would lower the motor. So tightening the silver bolts will raise the motor, loosening them, and then also tightening the black bolts will lower the motor. I do need to bring it up. It's too low to the rail. So what I'm going to do is in order to tighten these two bolts here, the two silver bolts to raise the bracket up, I need to actually loosen these first and then I can tighten those four down. So I got the wrong Allen key. So hang on just a second. And I will go get the correct one. Okay, so I have the right Allen key. And when I'm working here, I like to use one of these single T handles um, rather than one of those multi ones that has everything um, right in the block. I don't want to alter my rotation this way of the motor because I'm nice and straight and square. So I know I'm going to be tracking on a straight line. So all I want to do is raise the motor up without altering the position in any way. So like I said, tightening these two silver bolts will raise the motor up. But in order to do so, I have to first loosen the black bolts. So I'm going to teeny tiny turns. I'm just doing about an eighth of a turn. So I'm loosening those two and I'm holding the motor so it's not going to shift on me. And so now I can tighten that one down, that quarter of a turn, or I'm sorry, that eighth of a turn and tighten that one. And I don't know if you noticed it when I did those two, the motor kind of did one of these. It, it cocked a little bit. So when I tighten this one down, that will kick the motor up a little bit. And then when I tighten this one down, it kicks it up on the back so it evens it out. So when you're adjusting these two, you also need to check to make sure your drive wheel is staying parallel to the track. Okay, so once I've done that, um, that one round, if you will, I will look down here and look, kind of eyeball it to make sure I still have the same amount of daylight between the wheel and the rail. That way I know I'm not at the wrong angle that way. So I'm going to now take my credit card and I can get it under there, but it's still very, very snug. So I'm gonna do that round one more time. So I'm holding my motor 
so it doesn't shift on me. I'm going to loosen an eighth of a turn, roughly, an eighth of a turn, and tighten, and tighten. And then I'm going to get down to where I can eyeball. I need to do it again. So I'm going to loosen and loosen. And these are just teeny tiny movements. You're not going to do a lot because if you loosen it too much, the motor is just going to kind of flop on you and you're going to be starting from scratch. So I'm going to tighten that one and eyeball it. I'm still pretty level, it appears to be. So I'm going to try the credit card again. And it's still snug. I'm doing just teeny tiny little movements. So I'm going to loosen this guy again and loosen this one again. Tighten. You could see that just raised it up on the front. And then tightening that one down, that evened it back out. I still have just a smidge of a gap. It's better than it was in the beginning. But now I can get my credit card under there snugly. So I'm happy with that for the moment. Okay, I went and got a small level and put it across the back of the motor block here where your two mounting screws are. So I'm putting it on here and you can see that I'm just a little bit high on the rear side. So I could do two, one of two things. I could tighten this one back down, but that's going to pull the motor closer to the track, which is just the opposite of what I'm trying to do by raising it up. So instead, I'm going to loosen it up just a little bit here and then tighten these two to bring the front end up. So let me put my level back on. I'm going to loosen, and I don't know if you saw the bubble on the level change at all, but it came forward some, and I'm going to snug these down a little bit. And now my level is, my bubble is more centered. It could still go a little bit further, so I'm going to loosen. See that bubble? Just shifted. That looks much more level to me. Now I need to eyeball my drive wheel and my gap still looks consistent. It's not higher or lower this way. It's nice and level. So one last thing I want to check is I want to make sure as I was doing that, I didn't get out of square at all. And we look good. So hopefully that will help and make a little bit more sense on how you can adjust your, your motor brackets. Now, of course, the next thing to do, I don't know if everything's good or not until I run a drift test. And I will also run a motor engagement strength test to make sure I'm still within the parameters of the, uh, it's two to six on the super motors with four being the optimum setting. So I will run, when I get some fabric on here, I will run a drift test and I will do my motor engagement strengths. So whether or not you're doing your X motor or your Y motor, I'm sorry, your X or your Y, be the, your placement of your motors is going to be dependent on the machine, of course. But if you follow the rule in the 
instructions that no matter where the placement of the silver bolts are, if you're tightening the silver bolts, that's raising the motor. If you're tightening the black bolts, that's lowering the motor. So hopefully that helps with your understanding on how the adjustment brackets work.